Steve Dotto here. How are you today? Me? I'm doing great. Spring has begun and I'm heading off tomorrow to Social Media Camp, which is in Victoria, BC, just across the water from where I live here in Vancouver. But Social Media Camp, always an awesome experience. Now, I am doing a grand experiment at this, uh, this uh, year's Social Media Camp. I'm not of much of a note taker. I've never been a guy that like, I, I, I do carry on notebooks and I've always done that sort of thing, but I, my handwriting is sloppy, so I'm not like married to my notebook the way those darn people with really nice script, really nice handwriting are. But I've been watching with some interest uh, the relationship, the burgeoning relationship between Moleskin and Evernote. And I'm a little bit intrigued. I'm a little bit jealous because I think that people who really use notebooks well and can take advantage of uh, journaling and all those sorts of things have a real great advantage. Uh, or it, it's a nice thing to do just basically. So I thought, let's see what this relationship is all about. So I went and I bought myself a moleskin book at my local bookseller, my fine local bookseller. And it was not cheap. I have to say, it's not a super thick book. It looks like, I don't know how many pages it is. It, it might tell me here on the cover, but it was $32. That's Canadian dollars. So that's like $8 and 52 cents US, I guess. But it was $32 Canadian for this notebook. And I was looking at it going, holy jumping. That's a, that's a hefty price tag for a simple little notebook. Uh, but I bit the bullet and I bought it. And here is my cunning plan. I am going to take this notebook to Victoria with me for social media camp. When I walk around social media camp, I'm going to carry the notebook with me and I'm going to make notes with all of the people who I meet. And then I'm going to try and use it and integrate it with Evernote the way it's designed to be integrated with Evernote. And then we'll see if it works. I'll be honest with you. Uh, it's not going to work as well for me as it will for, as I say, people who have great handwriting, but I'm going to do my best. I'm going to write very neatly. I'm going to make lots of notes, going to come back. I'm going to enter them all in Evernote. I'll show you how we do that. And then we'll, and I'll tell you how I feel about it. I'll tell you whether it's working for me and whether it might or might not work for you because $32 Canadian is a whack a dough to be spending on a notebook. Uh, you got to buy a new one every three months or so, uh, according to the way that they're thinking with Evernote. And the reason is, when you, the reason I think that they want you to get three months of use out of each notebook, which is reasonable, maybe it's three months worth of notes, um, is you get three months worth of premium, Evernote premium with each notebook. Now, a year of Evernote premium only costs $45. So you're saving three months, you're saving what, 10, 12 bucks. Is it 12 bucks? And roughly 12 bucks? No, it's going to be less than, yeah, 12 bucks. 12 and a half bucks or so. <laughs> My math is awesome, isn't it? Uh, so, so it's actually 32 minus 12, 20. Oh. Maybe it's not a bad deal. We will see. I am back from camp having dutifully used the Evernote notebook for the entire uh, entire few days at social media camp, which was, by the way, an absolute blast. And I learned a lot about using this notebook while I was there at camp. Now. As far as a notebook is concerned, it's a fine notebook. One thing I did learn is the pages. Uh, you probably want to be careful what type of pen you use because when I used one of the really flowy pens uh, with a, a black ink with a lot going through, I got a fair bit of bleed through the pages. So it works better kind of with ballpoint and ones that aren't one of the ones that really put, uh, you know, that, you know, those, those really wet type tip pens that really flow a lot through. So for example, a Sharpie would probably be a bad idea. Now, one of the surprising things that I really grew to appreciate with this notebook was this little pouch here at the back. They've got this little pouchy thing right here. See that? The pouch, which allowed me to put receipts and business cards as I collected them all in the pouch, which was awesome. Now, when you buy the thing, they've got a few things in the pouch. And the main things that they've got in the pouch that make you kind of sit up and take notice are these little stickers here. And I have to admit, I puzzled about the stickers for a little while and I didn't find an answer for a little while. I actually posted a video already on this same topic without really knowing exactly how the stickers work because I don't know why, but Evernote and Moleskin do not do a good job of explaining the stickers. That's why you're going to be glad you're with us right now because the stickers are really the magic sauce that make this notebook and the Evernote combination work terrifically well. Now they do include, they don't include instructions on how to use the stickers, but they do include the history of Moleskin, which is uh, really not that interesting. Sorry, Mr. Moleskin. I'm not that interested in the history of your company. I would have much preferred you include instructions on how to do this very cool thing, which we're about to look at using your stickers in Evernote, rather than tell us about the history of Moleskin. So, okay, 
here's how it all comes together for you. So you're sitting there and you're taking notes in, 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 your, in the notebook. And when you have something that relates to major projects that you're working on or certain notebooks, you can put a sticker on the pages that will identify to Evernote where the pages should be filed. It's very similar to the story that we did a couple of weeks ago looking at using post-it notes. Based on the color of the post-it note, Evernote would file it or tag it in a certain way. We have the same features here. I'm going to show it to you now. Be prepared to be amazed because it is pretty cool. Here's what we do. We're going to go into Evernote. Now, the key to using these tags, these little stickers, are the exact same place as we go to deal with the post-it notes. And it's not readily evident. Here's what you have to do. You go into the settings, and in the settings, you go into the general tab, and there you go in and you find in, under notebooks, oh, sorry, camera. You go to camera, and there. So you remember the post-it notes? Moleskin notebook. Right there is the detail for dealing with with the moleskin notebook. So these are, each of these little icons is a sticker. I've got those stickers there, the, that, that represents the stickers. And if I tap on any one, it will say where it's gonna file it. So let's say that I want, if it's got that home sticker, let's, let's just go back, let's see, which, what have I got on my thing there? I've got a home sticker, let's use the home sticker. And I don't want it to go into the inbox, but I want it to be filed in my moleskin notebook. So I, I created a, a file, there it is, moleskin notebook. So it's gonna file it now. Every time it sees that sticker, it's gonna put it right into the Moleskin notebook note within Evernote. Do you see, is your mind starting to percolate with the power of this? It should be. So here's how we actually end up using it. We go back into Evernote. We have set up the camera the way we want. Now we go, holy cow, see how many layers deep it is? And as I say, no documentation at all, not in the notebook. Oh, wake up, folks. Okay, camera. I'm choosing the camera option on the phone. And now I'm in document mode. And so I'm taking a look at my notebook. And now I take a picture. And just like it did, there we go. Just like in, in the notes, oh, there it is, it worked. Look, it says it's, it's, it's identified, it's tagged this as home, action, and approved. It's tagged the different tags. So when I say okay and give this the okay, Giving it the old okay. What should be happening now is we see the little circle spinning here. It should be syncing with Evernote online. So in a moment here, we should see if I, if I create a sync here in my Evernote notebook here on my computer, we should see this, oh, there it is. There is the snapshot up. And let's see what tag, look at this. It's put it in the correct notebook. It's told me that it's being filed in this notebook and it's got these tags. Do you realize what we've just done? My goodness, if you now are a journal or a note taker, you don't have to physically go back and look through all of your old notebooks to find a piece of information from weeks or months or years ago. If you religiously take your notebooks every night and digitize the notes and take capture them into Evernote, you now have an index of all of your notes available in Evernote. You can see the actual pages. You can do searches based on tags, based on date. It'll even do searches based on OCR, converting the text that it can read. My chicken scratch is gonna be hard for it to read, but if you've got nice handwriting, it'll actually read it and you'll have the digital, you'll be able to search based on the text as well. This is really cool. Now, to be fair, you can do a lot of this in other notebooks. You don't have the automatic tagging of putting in the putting in the little stickies, uh, but you can still do an awful lot of this stuff just using Evernote and a regular notebook. But using the Moleskin notebook, you've got all of these extra tags and all these extra benefits. So let's take a step back and think about the value because that's what I started this whole video. This notebook cost me thirty-two dollars. Canadian. Uh, and it's available for about $23 or $24 in the States, like on Amazon type thing. So what value does that represent? By itself, the value of the notebook at $32 with the tags would be pretty good or $23 US. However, included in the back of the book is a, is a little code which allows me to put the an activation code here 
on the Evernote website, which gives me three months of free access to Evernote Premium, which is worth $12 or $13. So now we've cut the price of the notebook by a third or half, and all of a sudden the Evernote notebook, Moleskine notebook, is not looking like a really expensive acquisition. It's looking like a bargain. Uh, something that you'd be, that's something that would, is definitely worth considering. Begrudgingly, I was prepared to poo poo the notebook. And as a matter of fact, when I was in Victoria taking notes, not really understanding yet how the tagging worked, how those, how those stickies worked, I was liking the notebook because of the kangaroo pouch in the back. But other than that, I was kind of going, oh man, it's going to be a hard one to recommend. Now that I've figured out the tagging, seen how integrated it is with Evernote's mobile version on my iPhone and see how the tags carry through and how Evernote identifies those tags as I take the, as I digitize the image, I can tell you, I think that this is just an outstanding productivity tool for anybody who is uh, of the note taking ilk. So with absolutely no hesitation, I'd say to you, yes, by all means, Use the Evernote note, Moleskin notebook. Enjoy it. And to the folks at Evernote and Moleskin, I say to you, a little less of the history of Moleskin in the, inside the notebook and a little more on how to use it. A little bit of a tutorial in the notebook would really go a long way. I hope you found this video today to be valuable. If you have, there's three ways that you can stay in touch with us here on Dotto Tech. You can subscribe to our channel, which I encourage you to do. You can subscribe to our newsletters, which will get you a, uh, which will put you on our list, which means that you'll be given a digest each week of all of our videos, as well you'll be informed of any upcoming webinars that we do or any special events. And finally, you can consider becoming one of our Patreon supporters. Dotto Tech is supported by you, our community, through the crowdfunding site Patreon. Click on the link there and it will tell you all the details about what it means to be a patron of Dotto Tech. I thank you for your time. I'm glad you chose to spend it with me today. I'm Steve Dotto. Have fun storming the castle.